My name is Rodrigo, and today I'm very concerned. We are facing an era that everyone is calling the Great Resignation, and we are here today to discuss a little bit about this and why this is happening. Last April, according to the U.S. Labor Department, 4 million people has quit in their jobs. One survey made by Microsoft interviewed 30,000 people, and according to this survey, approximately 41% of people said they will likely be changing jobs or seeking new opportunities very shortly. We saw a spike for remote jobs for five times in LinkedIn. Another survey made by Robert Hoff International interviewed 3,800 people and approximately 31% said they will likely be seeking for another opportunity to get a salary boost or just career development improvement. As a result, there is a lot of opportunities for job seekers. We are talking about the record of 9 million job openings in April in the US. This is amazing. We are talking about that now the workers has the upper hands to negotiate a better salary or flexible hours or better accommodations. Those workers that they think or feel that the current job is not necessarily a good fit because there is a, a, a lack of good salary, a lack of good benefits, or they just selected that job during the unemployment crisis they will realize most likely that this is not a good fit for them anymore. And this will cause what we are calling the Great Resignation. What we are going to be talking about a couple of facts and things that we need to take into consideration on why and how we can overcome and take the good side of this Great Resignation. And the first one is that employers cannot deny about flexible work. We know that employees want the best of both worlds. Almost 70% want to have that flexibility to work from home. But also 66% want to have that time to be with their teams. But as a result of that, employers have realized that they need to change the work environment to accommodate that hybrid work. And according to this survey from Microsoft, 66% of the companies are willing to do that. So they will be redesigning their workspace to be able to accommodate this kind of needs. And we are talking about more and more things that the employees need to do their work. We are talking about 10% of those employees said that they don't have internet connection well good enough to be able to work from home. They, they feel that they don't need or they don't have all the equipment from the office into their houses. So this is obvious. So how the employers will be able to accommodate all those needs, we will need to see in the future. But at least we know that the employers has understood that the, these needs needs to be taken into consideration to be able to be more flexible and create this nice space to the employees. But one thing that we cannot deny is that there is a disconnection between what leaders are understanding to be needed to do to enable this flexible and remote work and the feeling that the workers are having about their leaders. And there is a totally disconnection and the leaders need uh, a wake up call. We are talking about more than 60% of the leaders say they, they are thriving during this process, during this period. Say they are creating more relationships, that they are being more productive. But on the other hand, the workers are saying that the leaders are, are asking too much during this time. And we are talking about a, a huge lack in difference of expectations. And this is a huge concern not only for the organizations, but also for the workers. So leaders, you need this wake up call and try to understand a little bit deeper what your workers need, because otherwise you're gonna lose them. But there's one point that we can use to start to explain this difference, is that high productivity is masking exhausting workforce. Can you imagine that 20% of the employees are saying that their employers they don't care about their work-life balance. This is too much. 44% are saying that they are overworked and 39 are feeling overwhelming and overexhausted. 
this is way too much. We are talking about 62% of meetings and call being unscheduled or conducted ad hoc. And 50% of the messages used in your communication tool are being responded within five minutes. And the employees are trying to keep up with that. They are feeling the necessity to keep up with this kind of crazy communication. And of course, these apparently high productivity are overwhelming the employees. And that's why they are feeling exhausted and most likely they will find and look for some job opportunity with a better and flexible work hours. There is one generation that we need to talk very carefully about them. It's the Generation Z. We are talking about those people from 18 and 25 years old. We know that they can bring a lot to the table. Their fresh eyes, their contributing and challenging the status quo can be very beneficial to any organizations. But to enable this flexible work environment, this is very good also for them. Because we know that a remote situation sometimes can be hard for them and to them to be able to express themselves. And of course, having this more proximity on the senior levels, they can learn a lot. So try to think on how to better engage your Generation Z to get from them as much as you can because we know that they can change and give you a lot of good eyes and fresh eyes. But on the other hand, don't lose that ability to bring other more senior people to mentor them throughout their journey. So take care of your Generation Z. It's going to be very beneficial for you. Guys, we cannot deny that the great resignation era, as many are calling, is already there. You, as an employee, you realize that it's possible to deliver it with the same quality, having a better work-life balance. We know that the employers has already realized that they are doing efforts to make those changes. And you, as a worker, you have now the opportunity not only to negotiate a better salary, don't take only these as a major consideration, but start looking for a better package of benefits or a better flexible hours, a better workplace that can work for you. And you as employers, we understand that you are doing your effort to make the change needed. The time is now, otherwise you're gonna lose your talent. The talent marketplace has changed and it's not gonna be as we had before. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I would love to hear your comments about what you think about this great resignation era and see you next week.